So we're mostly going to skim through this. I think there's two videos to look at. But I just wanted to show this because people keep telling me, you know, oh, you need to look into the other side, obviously covering crypto games and things like that and laughing about how terrible they usually are. Uh, people have been saying cover the other side, which if you don't know, is Yuga Labs uh, metaverse, basically. Yuga Labs being the OG board Ape Yacht Club, the monkey JPEGs that everyone's laughed about for a real long time. They're worth tens of thousands, potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars. They partnered up with Improbable. Now, Improbable being a company that some people in gaming will have heard of, usually for distinctly negative traits, Improbable is the company that made Spatial OS. Spatial OS, at least as they touted it, was this new revolutionary uh, next generation uh, way to handle data and networking, things like that. But literally every game I've ever seen that uses it either failed and blamed Spatial OS for this or just didn't do very well so you couldn't really get a, a grasp on, on how well it worked or anything else like that. Typically it's just not really widely used so them pivoting into Metaverse and working with Yuga Labs is not all too surprising but I will say going into this with an open mind I skimmed through this a little bit already it does appear as if Yuga Labs have done something here. I obviously think it's not very good at least in some aspects but in other aspects it's fairly impressive and i never thought i'd be saying that so let's take a look at this um this is on somebody's channel by the way bog dunox he obviously loves some monkey jpegs so give him a shout out he, he, he he'll appreciate that hopefully first trip and i can definitely say that i was not ready for what i was about to experience same i wasn't ready either what you should know here is this is running in a browser like this whole game if that's what we're calling it, is running in a browser. At least as far as I understand it. And as you can see, that's a lot of fucking people on screen. That is a lot of people on screen, which is something improbable have been, you know, showing off for a while now of how they can be the company to bridge the gap between, you know, Web 2 and the Metaverse and Web 3, essentially, having this many people. And honestly, this runs better looking at it than any MMO I've ever played with so many people on one screen, like, you couldn't do this in WoW. Obviously, there's a lot more going on in WoW, and this is a, a tiny little uh, slither, basically, of, of a game. Why is it so low quality? I mean, it still looks low quality regardless. I'm at, I don't think I'm going to be changing that one. But basically what they did was, they said, welcome to part one, the first trip of the other side. And they had, like... 4,500 people concurrently on one server, on one shared space, all using voice chat, text chat, emotes, and these just very basic models, essentially. And they had, like, guides taking them through the world, like, telling them what to do in voice chat and, you know, speaking to them, giving them objectives, which was all pre-planned out, of course. And while I am obviously going to be critical of the fact that this is not a game, this is just a tech demo, basically, it's a fairly impressive tech demo. Like, I'm not going to lie, this is, if you could translate this over to MMO worlds, then this is good. Like, this, obviously there's way more that needs to be shown for it to be a full real game ever. But I think most of us have wanted a game world where you can log on and have thousands tens of thousands of people in one single area and everything just work that would be crazy if you could do that and wow that i mean wow isn't really a game designed around that because it's mostly instance based but you get what i mean right like a big open world sandbox uh, albion online for instance just being one big map where everyone's on the same map and there's no lag issues there's no real problems with it that would be in my opinion a way cooler game and i think that's the case in terms of scale that we've we've basically been looking forward to in terms of technological advancement and we've never really quite gotten there so this is interesting although of course there's not much else to it they basically took them through like this journey spoke to them and then they fought a boss by jumping at it which again impressive that there's so many people here doing this but this is not something other games haven't shown off as like a tech demo. It's just usually they use a whole bunch of bots as opposed to people simultaneously connecting to the service. 
And I am, of course, skeptical that they could ever do this at a wide scale on a PC client with people connecting um, with a whole bunch of settings and, and from all over the world. But if they can, I will be thoroughly, color me, fo- thoroughly impressed. And then after that, everyone spams their board ape emotes, etc., etc. Amazing. And then they had the second trip, which came out a couple of days ago. So it's the same guy's channel. On this one, they basically, as far as I can see, they had to jump around, same as before, but this time they were collecting, like, jellies or slimes or something and feeding them to some big frogs. Um, and then the team that won and got the most jellies to the frogs got airdropped some fucking token or something, which, of course, in terms of Board Ape Yacht Club, it's probably worth quite a bit of money because everything they do is apparently worth thousands of dollars despite the fact at least for now it doesn't really do anything all too interesting or impressive and it also is worth noting that board ape yacht club's metaverse they've been selling land for for quite a while now and these backdrops you can see these islands and things like that these biomes are actual like nft land that they've sold they're what they're going to look like now, of course, with this being just a small, basically pre-planned out slither of, of gameplay and world, these aren't real people's NFTs that you're seeing in the distance and things like that, at least as far as I'm aware. And of course, again, you can see this literal swarm, like ants of people. The second test, I believe they had like seven and a half thousand people connected because they allowed people who owned an NFT to give access to one individual uh, to come along with them on the, on the trip. So I was obviously skeptical when Improbable said that they're pivoting to, to providing uh, tech, basically networking for metaverses. But it kind of made sense to me because they didn't do a good job providing anything to traditional gaming. And there's so much money in these metaverse projects because of how much money NFTs and crypto typically tend to raise that it does sort of just make sense to me. Like, cool, I guess. And it does seem like out of the box, their technology seems to be fairly good at catering to this. And while obviously this isn't really a game as we're seeing it, I do think having like a... We've obviously had things over the course of time, right? Like Second Life and uh, Habbo Hotel and things like that, Club Penguin. Shared spaces where people can just go hang out and do just random stuff. I think this has a place, even if it doesn't get like mega, oh, super in-depth MMO wise. I just think that obviously the the whole NFT and crypto aspect, it could be totally done without. And we don't need that. But of course, I'm not going to say that the people who enjoy this and want to participate in this and think this is the greatest thing since sliced bread uh, and didn't play any of those other experiences and don't know that this is sort of already been done just to a lesser scale before and without the potentially predatory and uh, unnecessary requirements of owning your digital assets etc are wrong because if they like this call uh, and like i say technically it is quite impressive but overall um, just interesting to see what's actually going on that isn't just you know your typical we took in a whole bunch of money stole from everyone and haven't done anything at least these guys are doing something that i can honestly say looks way better in terms of oh look it's callum calum Honestly, looks way better than the most of the other stuff I've seen within crypto, and and they're, they're trying to deliver something, I guess. But there we go. That's the other side metaverse, the second trip and the first trip. But don't forget that these are the same guys who had people cheating in a browser-based game, um, and basically just let that happen, and then said that they were going to invalidate people's NFTs with high scores based on the fact that they could discover who was cheating and who wasn't. So obviously, that in terms of like in my mind, technology-wise, doesn't inspire me with confidence that this goes way further than this. But it absolutely could, and I'll I'll keep an eye on it. I'll see what happens. I'm definitely not going to be buying into any of this bullshit. But keep showing me stuff like this. Whenever you come to the video, if something cool like this shows up, not just trailers, by the way. I don't want to see any more fucking crypto trailers that people think are an actual real product. They're not. Unless something's playable and you can see people logging in and it's impressive in some way. Does it have more players? Is it the best graphics ever made? Is it doing something super innovative other than using crypto and NFTs, blockchain, etc.? If it's none of those, don't bother showing me it. I don't give a fuck. Because people, some of those games that people recommended me recently, like I bought one on Steam, it's just 
fucking garbage. It just wasn't good. And then it was made worse by the fact that it had NFTs in it. So it was like a less than mediocre game. And then it was just ruined anyway in monetization. So don't show me that stuff. Miss me with that one. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace out.